Yo, hello. So we're here again for a new video. Uh, this is the current keyboard that I'm using. It's a mechanical keyboard, Rack Sinag, which is already around two and a half years or older, almost three years. Right. So some of the keys are already uh, non-responsive, or sometimes you need to be forceful to to make it work especially during gaming so that's why I'm having a problem with it so I decided to buy a new one Tada! so this is going to be a replacement uh, this is the part that I'm 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 really waiting to to, to use right the the roller for, for volume so that it's easier for us to adjust it uh, it's very important for me here at home uh, when using the desktop okay and uh, we have the uh, yellow uh, razor yellow switches uh, to make it silent okay so not all mechanical uh, keyboards need to be very clicky clacky clackety clackety loud loud noise okay so this is the razor black widow version 3 mechanical gaming keyboard okay with razor chroma rgb all right it has mechanical switches double shot abs keycaps ergonomic wrist rest uh, with the Razer Synapse 3 application, it's compatible or you can control uh, some things there, especially the RGB. And it has the two year warranty. That's why I chose it again okay, because of the two year warranty. Uh, it costs about 5450 in Data Blitz, uh, in BGC, that's where I bought it, or around $104. That's it. Let's open it now. This will only be an overview, right? An unboxing and overview. We're not going to get too technical about anything. Or we're not going to be very uh, scientific with our uh, with our video today. So, let's open. ta -da! We have the USB cover here. We have the documentations as well. We need to register it later. We have the sticker. It's really nice. I, I like the sticker that they're giving now. Unlike the previous ones where you only have the three snakes. Okay. So this is it. Anything else? not in there Yo. this one we need to remove that's right it's just a cardboard this is the cable it's really uh, nice it's a uh, what do you call this? paracord like a paracord it's tight unlike the the one that we we got with the uh, basilisk which is loose this one is tight see this one is loose okay I, I really like this by the way uh, ever since I started using it I really like it I have no regrets more satisfied with it than the one I, I bought previously the lance head that was a disaster okay how do we remove do we remove it like this oh yeah so basically that's the content right no other contents here i just remove this for now 
This is the keyboard. We can remove this. The home partitions. It's very nice. And the bottom part contains the wrist rest. Okay. This one. Uh, it's the back side of the keyboard. I will not remove the cover yet. Okay, so this is a really good thing. I think I miss using this as well, where you can adjust the height of your keyboard depending on what you're doing. Because sometimes when I'm typing, I want to have it really inclined using the highest highest uh, option here. But with the current uh, keyboard that I have, the Raxina, there's no adjustment. When gaming as well, sometimes I use the lower setting, the lower profile, or sometimes not. It depends. Okay? And here, some other some other users are complaining because of uh, this option. Because they say that it would be really, really tight when you hold it like this. But I think they're not going to design it that way if it's going to get ruined. Right? So, at least you have the option here. You have the option here to put it on the left or on the right. Depending on the position of your desktop. Or your USB hub. At least you have the option. Okay? But as of now, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm still going to put it on the center. Okay? Mm -hmm. Indicates here it has the yellow switch. We will test it later. Uh, this one is the wrist rest. Let's open it. The wrist rest is just a block of plastic. And eh, I'm not impressed by it. I think it's fine. It has some rubber, anti-slip rubber at the bottom so that it wouldn't it wouldn't move. Okay, like that. So, I think it will help a little bit. But it's not it's not that important. At least for me, if I want, I want, if I really want a wrist rest, I would probably buy a better one, right? With some real cushions here, either leather or foam, okay? Uh, this is not uncomfortable to use. It's fine, but it's hard. And it's hollow as well. You can listen to the, you can listen to the sound right it's not a solid plastic it's also a little bit soft but sturdy now let's put it on the side and try to open the keyboard right. so this is it it has a numeric numeric keypad area which I really miss especially when I'm working with Excel or where I'm trying to do some calculations this is really important for me even when working okay this one this also has a clicker yes it's registering and this button the O button I think it's not illuminated right so it's for play or pause uh, forward is double click and go back one two three triple click uh, for the media player okay this for the volume when you click it pause play another click okay see it's really quiet so quiet it's really quiet can you hear that? Uh, let's try adjusting the height. I think it's better. I got really tired of the noisy keyboards. Tired of it, like this one, where 
on you need to type and then it's really noisy. I don't like it anymore. This one? It's really quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is where we put the wrist rest. There. Ah, I think it's fine. So raise it to the highest option. Ooh, it's much better. So, uh, we will try to use it for the first time. We unplugged the old, the old one, which is the wrong one. I should have unplugged the white one, which is the old one. And, is it registering, setting up the device? Razor Black Widow What is it? It's really really fast Really really fast Also try to open the Razor uh, Razor Synapse Razor Central Device is ready. Okay, I think this is it. Uh, we'll try the notepad to make sure. Ah, the enter still sounds a little bit loud, but I think it's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to really have a quieter keyboard. If but it should be mechanical as well that's the option that I'm, I'm looking for really you know why because uh, some companions uh, my kids my wife uh, they get uh, annoyed by the really noisy mechanical keyboard uh, when I'm typing the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog yeah Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave some comments. If there's anything you wanted to ask, some of the videos that I've already uploaded with the different devices. Uh, I've been I've been asked a lot of questions already, and I'm actually I've answered 100%. <laughs> so uh, I'll be waiting for your questions. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.